China is preparing to carry out a series of live fire military drills just miles off the coast of Taiwan. They're essentially a blockade, according to Taiwan defense officials. It's seen as a retaliatory move, as promised, for the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's trip to the island. According to the New York Times, Chinese state media reports the drills are set to begin tomorrow. As you can see on this map, the military zones surround Taiwan, and some cross into the island's territorial waters. Look at that. Taiwan's defense ministry reports if Beijing follows through with the exercises, it would be a direct challenge to Taiwan's sovereignty. Of course, China claims control over that self-governing island. Before Speaker Pelosi left Taiwan earlier today, she spoke alongside the island's president and delivered a message of solidarity. Speaker Pelosi appeared to call out the Chinese president, Xi Jinping. There are certain insecurities on the part of the president of China as to his own political situation that he's rattling a saber. I don't know. What matters to us is that we salute the successes of Taiwan. We work together for the security of Taiwan. And we just take great lessons from the democracy in China. Speaker Pelosi added she hopes the visit makes it a clear point to China that America stands with Taiwan. NBC News contributor Victor Cha is with us now, former director of, for Asian Affairs at the National Security Council. Victor, are, are war games and tough talk from Beijing all we're likely to see, or do you expect President Xi may go further, and if so, to what? Shep, I think it will just be war games and tough talk. Um, as your piece noted, and as the speaker noted, uh, Xi Jinping is walking a political tightrope now. He's up for a third term as the leader of China in November. And the last thing he wants is a full-on war crisis uh, uh, instigated by him uh, that would then potentially make it difficult for him to win that third term. So, you know, I think this is expected. Uh, he They telegraphed that they would do this, and it's expected, and uh, it will go forward. But I don't think the Chinese will do uh, much more. I mean, there could be a response uh, if the United States chose to respond, but I don't think we'll do that either. They've been seen as pretty good at diplomatic strategy. So you wonder why President Xi didn't just dismiss Speaker Pelosi's visit as a sort of political charade or something instead of elevating it, which is exactly what he did. Yeah, I think that's right. I mean, it, by elevating it, he he's sort of brought the responsibility on himself to respond, where there, whereas ignoring it might be helpful. But this just speaks to how much of a neurologic point this is for China. Anything that has to do with pseudo recognition of Taiwan as an independent uh, state is something that the Chinese uh, leadership cannot stand for again, especially at this time when he is thinking about uh, a third term as the leader of China. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.